In this video, I am going to show you how to send your first email from within MailChimp. But before I do that, let me explain the three elements of sending an email and of what's called an email campaign. So first, we have our lists. Now our lists are the list of people, the list of contacts, the list of email addresses that you have in, that are inside the MailChimp software that you can mail to. So in this case, if I click on lists, we have two lists. We've got a test list that I just created, and then we've got this main um, newsletter VIP list. Now a template is the way, it's the design, it's how the email looks. And then the campaign is the actual newsletter that you are sending. So the campaign has, it, can, it consists of a template and a list. So I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to click on templates. And I'm going to come over to January newsletter and I'm going to click on the little down arrow here. I'm going to click create a campaign. Now it's saying, who am I going to send this to? So you're going to choose the list. For Because I'm sending a test first, I'm going to click, click test list. And then I'm going to send it to the entire list, which is only two people right now. Then I'm going to scroll down to the right hand side and click next. And it's going a little slow. Here we go. So it's asking for a campaign name. So I'm going to call this the January um, invite. Only you see this. Only the, the, the owner of the MailChimp campaign sees this. Your um, people who receive on your list do not see this. So now do not see the, the campaign name. Um, so now we're going to say, what is the um, subject line? I'm going to put, how's your seven, how's 20, your, your 2017 so far? And we're going to be, put it from Lainey at the name of your business. And the reason I like to do this is because um, if people, they know your name and they know your business. If you only send it from the name of your business, it might feel a little bit impersonal. But um, especially since you're a service business, you know, this is especially true if you're a service business. So I will usually put my first name followed by the name of my business or the name of the product that I'm um, promoting. And the reason for that is that it kind of creates an additional level of, oh, I do know this person. I do want to open this email because our job with email marketing is to make sure that people open the emails. Okay. So we're going to leave all this stuff tracked. We're going to do all that kind of stuff. We are going to personalize the to field. Um, and this would mean that it's going to show their first with the first name that you have that this entered into the system. And then we're going to come and scroll down here and click next. Okay, so now we have the newsletter all set up and ready to go um, because we already created this newsletter in this template. So now we're going to click next because this one is already ready to go. If you hadn't created it, it, you would make any edits to the news to the newsletter. So now you're going to choose what newsletter. We've got the list. It's going to the test list. The subject line is how's your 2017 so far. All replies are going to go to Lainey at lovingkindnesshypnosis.com. Um, it's plain text email, HTML. Um, we did not choose to enable social cards. Let's see what this is. Uh, so that would say that if we're going to share it on social media, that this would be what would be seen. So it would be your logo that would be seen. So, um, and then there would be a tie and then, yeah, so let's go ahead and, um, we'll leave this off for, for here, but typically then what you would do would you would then create, it would be like creating a social media post. So, um, 
you know, welcome to, you know, House 2017. I, I'm not going to do this for this particular purpose, but that's what this is. It's creating a post for you for if any of your users choose to share this newsletter on social media. I'm going to leave it off for this campaign. I'm going to click Save and Close. And then I'm going to click Send. And it's asking me, am I sure? Do I really want to do that? And now I click Send Now. Okay, so that's all there is to send a newsletter. Now